former Allentown, Pennsylvania police officer stole drug money from crime scene. Chrissy is facing two felony counts for theft and allegedly falsifying records. The DA couldn't give more details about why it took them five years to make those charges, but says everyone will be held to the court of law if they break it. Crime is crime, regardless of who commits it. What, no OnlyFans this time? No escorting a female suspect to the back of your cruiser to have sex with her while you're on the clock? It's almost refreshing to know that there are still some traditional crooked cops out there who still adhere to the core values of crooked copdom. A former Allentown police vice officer is accused of stealing over $5,000 in cash. That was evidence in a drug trafficking investigation authorities said Friday. Now, I don't get nearly enough Allentown stories because Allentown is a complete and total hole. Pennsylvania is full of so many of these crappy, degenerate towns and cities that are basically just a preview of Ohio. Jason Crasley, 47, of Upper Milford Township is charged with theft by unlawful taking, receiving stolen property, and tampering with evidence. Lehigh County District Attorney Gavin Holohan said in a news release, Crime is illegal even if you're a cop. Lehigh County District Attorney Gavin Hollihan says that on May 16, 2019, several Allentown police officers helped execute a search warrant at the Washington Barber Shop on Hamilton Street. Items seized in that search included drugs, paraphernalia, and money. The items were seized in the barber shop were related to illegal drug trafficking activities. 40 some odd years old is a hell of a time to decide that you want to start stealing now. So it makes me ask the question, was he always stealing from evidence? And this time he just got greedy, got sloppy and got caught. $5,000 is one hell of a gamble to risk your benefits and quite possibly your freedom. According to court documents, investigators claim that an inventory receipt identified $16,000 was found in the ceiling of the barbershop basement. That same day. But when the money was recounted, a second inventory receipt indicated only $10,500 was seized. The missing $5,500 was never accounted for. The money recovered from the search warrant uh, was logged in at the $10,500 amount. According to court documents, Crazley asked for the keys to the van where the money was stored when they got to a second search warrant location to take off his tactical vest. Joel Meffert was the Columbus, Ohio cop that just played guilty a few months ago to drug trafficking. What he was doing was he wasn't playing around with evidence after it was submitted to evidence. He would go to these places and steal the bricks of cocaine or whatever it was and put it back on the streets before the boys even raided. So there would never be any discrepancies with the paperwork. Either that or he would get his hands on X amount of bricks or X amount of whatever and he would take his off the top and put it back on the streets before it was submitted to evidence. So there was never any discrepancy with the paperwork. I'm not trying to show crooked cops how to be crooked cops. I'm just pointing out nuances and technique. Allentown police issued a statement on the arrest Friday and identified Crasley as a former officer. The Allentown Police Department advised they consulted with the Lehigh County District Attorney's Office when it was reported in 2019. Why five years, though? Maybe almost six years. This resulted in an internal and criminal investigation into the matter at that time. A five-year criminal investigation for $5,500. <laughs> The Allentown Police Department, he definitely had to steal more money than this. They're slow as molasses. The Allentown Police Department corroborated regarding this incident and again in 2024, where it was revisited by the Lehigh County District Attorney's Office through the investigative grand jury process. The statement read, the Allentown Police Department takes all complaints either internal or external seriously and conducts full and thorough investigations related to the same. The statement continues. Now we reach out to Crazley and his attorney this morning. We have not heard back. He is due back in court for a preliminary hearing on December 5th. And we also did find out that he's facing other charges in another case for allegedly harassing a real estate appraiser in the summer. There you have it, kids. Former Allentown police officer Jason Crasley. Do you think this was his first time stealing or do you think this was his first time getting caught?